Eric, you said, given his late return, Cristiano Ronaldo is not up to full fitness of the rest of the squad, but with Anthony Martial's injury, are you tempted to use him on Sunday to start him? Or do you feel you have enough options and you don't need to rush him in? We will see Sunday. With Anthony Martial's injury, does that highlight the need for United to be stronger in looking for attacking options in the market? We said it before, uh, in the depth of the squad, we're still searching to strengthen the squad. And in terms of the shape of the squad for Sunday, how are you feeling about it? I think um, um, we will have solutions uh, to, to sort it out. So no uh, Eric, it's been a bit of a concern for the supporters for quite some time that the club don't have a defensive midfielder. Are you comfortable going into the season with the midfielders that you've got available? I think so. We saw pre-season, we did pretty well there uh, in the department, so um, I'm convinced uh, we have a good team, uh, we have a squad, but still, uh, what I said before, about the depth of the squad, and we can still strengthen the squad, but I think the team shows they can play in a good level. Sorry. Um, Eric, the players that you brought in or that only started playing with you in, in Oslo, um, Ericsson and Martinez, are they fit enough to start on Sunday? And, and if they are, does that give you a particular problem at centre-half, given you've got people like Maguire and Varane who have got a lot of experience? Oh, I, I like such problems. <laughs> and so, and I think this is what we're talking about. We need that in this squad. Competition uh, is one, but also we go into a long season uh, with a lot of games, so we need a lot of good plays. Are they available to start? Are they fit enough to start? I think they are fit enough to start. Huh? Um, Eric, it's obviously been a, a long off season, a lot of work's gone on. You're here because this club didn't reach its expectations last year, so now the season's upon us. How excited are you? What is your overriding motion? Is it nerves? Is it excitement? Or are you just chomping a bit to get going? No, as you said, it's exciting. It's, it's every season, but of course, eh, when you are going a season in a new club eh, with a new team, and I think we uh, we work really good, but also tough in the last weeks eh, to get a base. And I think uh, we have the confidence. We have that base. So I'm really looking forward to the start of Sunday. And what are your thoughts on Bryce and what do you expect from him? It's, it's a good team, uh, play decent football, uh, play attractive football. Uh, I like them for what I saw. Yeah. Thank you. Eric, uh, what is the situation with Cristiano at the moment? We saw your quotes to a Dutch media outlet about the Rio game. There's been lots of speculation, as you were aware, all summer. So what is the situation with him now? Have you spoken to him? Do you, do you feel he's happy? Oh, what do you mean? <laughs> Clarify your question, please. So. Obviously, there was the comments that you, you said about the Rio game that it was unacceptable. That those that left early, <coughs> um, it was unacceptable. Ah, wait, wait. And now I have the point. Those who were unavailable. Uh, uh, sorry, left, but uh, there were many players who left. But the spotlight is on Cristiano, and that's not right. So I think then do your research uh, and uh, make out that many players left. What is not correct? Uh, that is what I said. Okay, but also there has been talk all summer about Cristiano. So, how do you feel starting this the season with him? Good, but I don't um, I don't understand what is the relation. Uh, he was part of it once again. Well, a lot of plays. Okay, but I'm talking more in a broader in a, in a broader sense. Yeah, and what? So, what do you mean? <laughs> With Cristiano, are you happy that he's content? Have you spoken to him since you got back from the tour of Australia and Thailand? I'm really happy. I told you before, and we plan with the season. We have a top striker, and I'm really happy uh, he's here. He's in the squad, and and we stick to the plan. Yeah. Now, Eric, do you do you feel you have a, currently have a squad strong enough to finish in the top four? I think well, we. Uh, what our aim is to win every game. That I think what is Man United standing for. And, and would 
top four for you be a good first season? Four, for example, a good first season and show progress? I think we have to look forward to the first game. And as I say, the approach has to be we want to win every game. So let's start Sunday. Going back to Cristiano Ronaldo and the other players who, who left, how could it be that they would think this was okay? Because I've never known any player involved in a match to leave the game early. And I'm seeing that Ronaldo because he's the only one we actually know played. But just generally, I'm you disappointed that your players think that's okay under you. Uh, I, I think we said enough of it. I said it's not correct, clear. Eric, is um, is Anthony unavailable for some? <coughs> yes. And how long do you think he will be out for? Oh, it's always difficult to say with such injuries. Um, I hope not too long. And sorry to bring you back to Cristiano again, but how has he trained this week? Do you get the sense that he's kind of ready and willing to give your his all when he does come onto the pitch? I, I think um, I'm totally <coughs> satisfied with the whole team. And they are really working uh, good, and it's a good culture, and also Cristiano working really good, really tough and hard. Uh, Eric. Yeah. Hey, um, the, the game against Brighton at the end of last season was seen as a bit of a, a low point for Man United fans, of the 4-0. Did you watch that game, have you watched that game as part of your preparations for this game, and um, are you confident that there's already been made sort of progress in, in, the, in the off season to avoid something like that happening again? Last season is last season. I'm not looking back. I'm looking forward, and we prepare the team for Sunday. So for the for the future, and that's it.